Well, hello, folks. Welcome along to the channel. I am the Custer Prophet, and we're here um, in in a building, um, just in the the north part of uh, Romania. I think we can go this way. I hope we can go this way. Uh, and we are. It, it, there is a new event, folks. There is a new event. It is the Christmas Winterland event, and. On our back, we have this very nice-looking festive uh, lorry, which has got some um, decorative Christmas glass in it, and we are going to be delivering that to um, a location which is—it's a little bit—it's uh, a little bit weird. We're, we're going to an arts workshop, which I believe is here. Problem is. Um, it doesn't it it's not like it I didn't set my route so I'm not 100% sure I think this is where it is I think it's in Bacau uh, which hopefully means we'll pick up Bacau um, but it looks like this arts workshop is is at, at a petrol station but you can see there's other one other things here so I don't know if we can go here I don't think we can um, and they're all over the place I don't know whether we go in here and in there I'm not sure. Let's let's find out. It, this is um, a new Christmas event. It's going to be lasting for the whole of Christmas, and uh, there's a community event associated. With it, but essentially, there are five uh, delivery locations, and you need to take deliveries uh, to each one of those five. Um, so that's a Christmas market, a uh, Marigolds. North Star, Rudolph's Castle, and Snowy Peaks, which all have various different things. We are going to. I'm not sure which we're going to. <laughs> we're going to one of those. I don't know which. Um, so we're going to do that, and uh, we'll see how this works because it, it doesn't seem that well thought out. In, in to being being brutally honest, we'll go across the road here. I don't know if I'm allowed to, but I'm doing it anyway. Christmas glass. We don't want that. Uh, Smashing, do we? Just a second. So, yeah, so if we reset this, it doesn't tell us where we need to go. I think we're going to try and go here first of all, and then we'll go here. One of these has got to be right, and I, I don't want to miss it if we have to go to that that one first of all. So that's what we're going to do. Um, this is so it's only a very short delivery, um, and it's not worth an awful lot. But we'll we'll have a little look at this Christmas event. But we are still working on the Road to the Black Sea Cruise in the Balkans event and we are on number nine. We're going to be doing another delivery for that and we're also hopefully going to be completing the Ferryman achievement and getting number four or five in the Rangers uh, Ranger achievement. So let's take this uh, this decorative Christmas glass and we'll, we'll, we'll move on to our first location which is not that far away. It's just on the other side of Iasi the city we are in at the minute and we'll see if they they want to collect it right the first location is just up here on the left so we're going to go and have a little look at this not 100 percent sure what we do we do need some petrol so or diesel so that is going to be worth just pulling in there to see quite what this is all about can we go no we can't looking for hidden roads as always uh, yeah just jump just up here on the left so they they probably dumped down I can't remember which of these we're supposed to be going to but uh, it should just be here in and around this fuel station wherever that is I'm not seeing a fuel station there it is there's the fuel station okay let's get some fuel First of all, I have no idea what's going on there. We'll, <laughs> we'll have a look. Right, fuel delivered. Let's uh, let's go over here and see what. Right, I'll stop here and we'll see what happens. Right, what's what, what has happened here? Have we actually delivered that? Oh, 
Oh my! <laughs> oh my! Okay, okay. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is utterly mind bendingly cool. And we might, I might just do this one on, in this episode and do that other one in another episode because this is just utterly cool. They basically, if you're, if you're unclear what's going on, they have. I'm not, oh, oh Christ. Is it, is it skitty? I'm, I'm not sure, but they've they've essentially just we've we've been transported to an exact replica, but of this road. Huh. I don't know whether anything else is on the road, but in in this winter wonderland. Right here we go. God, it, it does feel slippy. I, I don't know whether I'm just imagining that or not. I was confused quite what was going on. But there we go. Yeah, oh my god, it's really hard to get traction in the in the in the snow. It's 1636. Oh, what a great idea. I think it could have been a bit clearer what was going on. Or maybe they were just trying to keep it a bit quiet, but I didn't see it coming. And I'm very happy it's ha I'm very happy this is here. So we've got to get got I've only got 40 miles there. Yeah, you wouldn't want to be going a long way on this. Oh look at the decoration, the smokes. Everything is so cute. Right, we're going. Right, but there are there are no cars on the road, as far as I can tell. And it's just up here. So it's not. Yeah, none of them are massive, massive deliveries. They just you get to do them in this amazing landscape. And I think this will give us a couple of snowflakes. So you're trying to get a number of snowflakes for yourself, but also um, for the there's a community event to get a thousand snowflakes for each location. So I think you get a snowflake for leaving the city. So we'll get one for Yassi and one for ba Baku. Is that where we're going? I don't think it's where we're going. But yeah that's that's what's happening but we also have the individual goals where we need to get 15 for ourselves but de de within that delivering to all five of the difference of the locations so here we go into the arts workshop we've been transported here into a winter wonderland or a christmas winterland by scs oh there thank you very much for this it's awesome i think it's perhaps that lovely looking building just up ahead of us with the Christmas tree outside how bloody festive is that I mean you kind of want to explore or oh, the arts workshop has been discovered oh you've even got parking challenges right see how this works Right, we have, we've got here, we've delivered it, so what have we actually got there? So we've we've delivered one unique to one unique depot, but we only get one, of our, so I think we've got to do 15 deliveries, something like that. Um, so we need to make sure that we go to the, um, the, the other four, so the Christmas market, Marigolds, North Star and Snowy peaks so I, I do think I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it there it's gonna be a really short one this time um, 
because I think that deserves to be an episode on its own because it is super cool. What we will do at the very end of this episode though is we are going to upgrade our garage and we are going to buy another truck and get another driver. Okay, so I think we will upgrade our garage in Germany as they, they seem to be making a fair amount of money. They're making a decent amount. So we're going to upgrade with 100,000 euros there. So we've got two more spaces there. We've got another space elsewhere. Why is this? Oh, there we go. Oh, look at this little office space for the uh, the lads to hang out in. Oh, look at that! It looks proper, doesn't it? I'll have to go and visit it at some point. Our massive new depot. Right, so. Let's get ourselves a truck. Um, oh, the other thing I did want to do because um, Kim asked me, Kim Reichner asked me about this, uh, is just to have a look at our drivers. He wanted to have a look at this particular driver. Uh, first of all, his his log. This was the driver who had just got that um, used truck. So this is his log, so you can see he's been fairly busy, but reasonably low value jobs. And But he also wanted to have a look at his truck. Uh, here, so you can see, and the, the reason for this was that um, he had been watching a video which said that if you get a truck that is less than um, four star condition, the driver will drive that to the services. I don't know whether that will be on the log and move it or get it up to a four star. So this was a three star tr truck where we got it, and then that has uh, it looks like it's been upgraded to a four star truck, so or a four star condition. So that is essentially what happened. Let's go and have a look at our uh, the used trucks. See if we can pick up a, a bargain. I still don't know what a bargain would look like here. I think we need to look at the condition of these trucks. So we probably, you know, this is, I think that's a fairly, I mean, that's all right, isn't it? I can't remember, 420 horsepower. Isn't that pretty much what we've got elsewhere? 90,000, uh, five star condition. I don't think we've got a Volvo truck as well. Right, I'm gonna get this and let me know if I've made a ma massive mistake. That feels like a decent value truck to me, but I'm not sure. So we're gonna put this one, I think what we'll do, oh, let's put them in Leipzig. There we go. And now we're gonna get a driver for that truck. Um, I think what I'm gonna do, looking at it, is we're gonna go with Irina K can't really find any really decent options but this one seems a good option I think this is the high value cargo um, so three a star on that which means she should get sort of better paying jobs potentially so I think that's what we'll go for one question I have about this the recruitment agency does the quality of the applicant um, does that depend on the agencies that you pick? So are there certain recruitment agencies which have very high quality applicants, or is it just completely luck of the draw? I'd be really interested to know that, if there's a way of kind of gaming the system a little bit to get the the, the best recruitment agencies with the, you know, are the particular cities with, you know, ridiculously, who are ridiculously good at trucking, I don't know. Anyway, we're hiring her, and we were gonna move her into that one there. there we go and we've still got over a hundred thousand pounds in the bank uh, now we have another driver and we are just ma we are making money now we've got seven trucks in our fleet which is really nice um, let me know if you've uh, had a go at the Christmas winterland uh, it's essentially what you get out of this which I didn't talk about 
was um, a World of Trucks achievement and a Winterland truck paint job. So all of that is pretty good. So uh, yeah, I'm excited about getting involved in this. Obviously, this is second uh, the minute to the because this this is going to be I don't know when the end date of this is January the 14th. So it's ages to go on this, but as you can see for this one it was the 19th of December is when it ends and what are we on 16th of December today so need to make some progress I'm probably going to make another video or make a, a couple of videos in the next couple of days on that and then they'll come out over uh, over Christmas the Christmas period but we need we're nine out of 15 done hopefully today we will um, later today I will get that up to at least 11 in a video yeah and then uh, following on from that hopefully then in the, the final video in this particular event I'll, um, I'll I'll show you our final delivery where we get the achievement uh, fingers crossed though so everything I said at the start of this video is not correct we didn't go for the ferryman achievement we didn't get number four of the Rangers achievement and we didn't get up to 11 in this cruising the Balkans road to the Black Sea event but what we did do was uh, the Christmas winterland um, delivery our first one there which was really really cool go and have a look at that and let me know your thoughts anyway folks hope you enjoyed it if you did hit that like button subscribe if you're new i'll see you for the next one goodbye